be an abbreviated version of the other video. So first off, let's make sure our grid is on. So view, show, grid. Then we're going to make sure that our snap is off. Make sure that that is not checked. And then uh, and you should be good to go. And we'll make sure our grid is the correct size. So we'll go to units and rulers under edit preferences. And we are going to make sure that under, sorry, we're going to do guides, grids, and slices. My bad. Make sure that that's a one, that's a one, and that this color is light red. And you should have a grid that looks just like this. The next thing you're going to do is a sketch uh, of a, a pretty detailed sketch of all kind of the outlines and everything um, on the draw one layer. Then on the draw two layer, you're going to do an outline of it with the clean uh, brush and make sure your smoothing is set to 100%. Make sure there's no gaps. I can see that there might be a little gap right there. Hopefully this little next step will work. If not, I have to fill that. And this is just the contour drawing, which means just outside. So we have the detailed stuff here and just the contour there. Then you're going to go to the color layer. I'm going to create a new one right here so we can see. I'll just call this color one. What exactly I do. Keep this one on and you're going to use the paint bucket, which might be hiding under the gradient tool. Pick a color, any color, and bucket fill it. If it doesn't work, make sure you set to all layers up here and contiguous. And make sure you don't have any gaps like I almost had a gap right there. Turn off your draw two layer, turn your draw one layer back on, and you are ready to start your uh, coloring. Make sure that this layer is locked in the opacity, and that way you're not going to accidentally draw off of it. If I don't lock the opacity, this is what happens. Oops. But if we lock the opacity, it stays on our uh, contour. So using that, I'm going to use the eyedropper to select colors, and I'm going to basically just fill in the basic colors. And once I've taken the time to do that, I'm going to start my mixing, which I'll show you really quickly. So the mixing is going to, uh, uh, after you've done all your um, blocking, you're going to switch to your mixer brush which is under wet media. It's called the uh, wet blender and you can just always search in blender right here. If you want to try to find it, it's called the wet blender and use a nice small brush, eh, maybe about 20 or 25 or so. Then I'm gonna use my drawing tablet to uh, start mixing these colors. And you can see down here, I wanna get that nice contour right there. And don't overmix. You don't want to lose all your detail. But uh, whatever direction you pull from, that's going to push that color that direction. So if you want to do that, push harder to get more of a mix. And if you want to go in between, it'll kind of blend those together that way. So you'll just continue to blend until all of your uh, basic colors are there. Then you might have to come back in and add a little bit more detail. You might say, oh, you know what? I've lost some of the detail here. So let me go back to another brush, maybe something like a soft round pressure size under general media. Uh, that's going to allow you to come in and maybe do some, oops, my old key is not working. So let me switch back to a soft round pressure size. And uh, maybe even pull the flow down a little bit. And maybe just kind of come in and say, you know what, I need some more details in some areas. Uh, and if you need to blend back later on, you can, but I'm just going to kind of add that part and maybe this and make sure we get some of these nice lines right here. Maybe my flow is a little too low. It's kind of up to you. It's a judgment call at this point, but you don't want to lose, completely lose all of that detail. Um, you don't want it to blend together so that it's just a watery mess. You want to make sure you still have some of that texture and, uh, add that in as needed. So if I need to blend a little bit more, I can. I'll just type in blend right here. And I will uh, do that, some wet blending. When you are done with that, which mine looks like this in the end, I can turn this layer off and I'm ready to add my background. So go to your background layer. And I've already done one, but you can see what that looks like. And now I'm gonna use a soft round brush soft round, maybe pressure size. No, let's do a soft round. 